Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan, and tonight let's continue talking about Scream 6. We're almost there, guys. I say this every Scream video. We're almost on March 10th. I'm excited just as much as you guys. I already got my tickets. I can't wait to go watch the movie, but let's have a little fun tonight. There was an ad marketing for the board game, Guess Who? Um, and I guess the Scream 6 marketing team did this, which is very clever of them to put the old board game with the new movie. So it's pretty cool to see. Now I kind of want to talk about my predictions for who the killers might be in this movie. Um, I've, I've kind of talked about it in the past a little bit, but I haven't really dove into it too much. Now there's a few things you can see on this board here. So far, I'm just going to say right off the bat, I don't think the killer is Tara. I don't think the killer is going to be Sam. I don't think the killer is going to be Chad. Now, and or I don't think it's going to be Gail either. Just because Gail's a legacy character, I don't think they would make a legacy character a killer. Would they? Who knows? Um, you know, I don't know. You know, just because the trailer shows Gail getting attacked by Ghostface, that could just be red herring, right? She could just be, they could just be throwing us off and telling us that, oh, Gail's not the killer, but we don't know that for 100%, right? Not until March 10th comes. We don't know who the killer's going to be. That's what makes Scream so much fun. That's why I love these videos are that, that's why I love doing these videos. And that's why I love talking about the movies because they're, they're mystery movies, really, if you think about it, right? They're murder mysteries. You're trying to figure out who's behind the mask, who's doing everything. So that's what makes it fun now i will rule out those people right now tara sam chad i don't think are going to be ghostface i just don't think they're going to do that now they did talk about chad being the heart of the movie viewer anon if you follow viewer anon on twitter he did he did tweet that chad is going to be the heart one of the heart of the movie right now what does that mean we don't know uh does that mean that he's going to sacrifice himself for somebody um, you know, kind of like what Dewey did in Scream 5. Is he going to come out to be one of the ghost faces for whatever reason? We don't know, right? But I don't I don't think they're gonna make Chad the ghost face. Now, I didn't rule out Mindy because you know Mindy is she's kind of a mystery person, right? I mean, sure, in Scream 5, we knew who she was. She's kind of becoming the new Randy. And I mean it's fun, right? So I think Mindy's kind of a 50-50. I think Mindy could snap and be a killer. I think most likely, but I'm more on the fence of no, right? Because they're trying to turn her into the new Randy. So why would they make her the new ghost face? Like it wouldn't make sense. But you know, you never know. Like I said, March 10th's coming. We're gonna have to find out. Now, my predictions personally for the ghost face killers, I think there might be three this time around. I did talk about in another video where I said that there's probably only gonna be two because I don't think they're gonna to wanna to get away from that formula where they're gonna make you think there's maybe three or four or more, but I think there's only gonna be two or one. I don't think there's gonna be more than one or two killers, um, more than two killers. I think there's only gonna be one or two. I don't think there's gonna be three. I think they're trying to make you believe that there might be three just because, oh, it's something different, you know? But I don't think they're gonna stray away from that formula of what makes Scream a good movie. I, I just think if they made like six killers, it would just be too much, right? Three, maybe not so much, but you're kind of pushing it with four, right? You do four killers, you're kind of pushing it. And, but I think that a lot of killers are going to turn on each other this time. And I think also we're not going to have a, I don't think we're going to have a fun motive like in four and five, right? That also viewer Anon mentioned. I think this motive's gonna be a little darker, a little deeper. I think that it's going to strike people's hearts more, right? I, I feel like this is gonna be, right? They even said in the trailer, I'm, I'm different, right? I'm not like your typical ghost face, but we don't know. Now, my, my predictions for the killers, I think is gonna be Laura. I think she's gonna end up being a Mackenzie, by the way. I did a video on that previously. I'll put the, uh, I'll link it in the description, whatever, go watch that. I did some talking on how Laura can end up being a Mackenzie and I think she's trying to revenge Liv. Um, <clears throat> I think Kirby could possibly be a ghost face, which is kind of sad because <laughs> we don't want to see Kirby as ghost face, right? She's here to revenge herself from Scream 4. Like she's an FBI agent now. I, I just don't see her, I don't see her being a ghost face, but I don't know. 
right? She could maybe be very upset from the attacks that happened in four and it kind of made her go a little crazy and that's why she got into being a detective to begin with, you know? But we don't know. Um, so I'm thinking Laura could be a ghost face. I think that Danny could definitely be a ghost face, you know, never trust the love interest, right? Um, Jason, I think is going to be a red herring. I don't think he's actually going to be a ghost face. Um, and the reason I say that is because of the bathtub scene. I think that's the opening of the movie. And I think it's going to be a, you know, a red herring where I think they're going to act like he's going to die, but he's really not going to. But I was told that the opening of the movie actually is one of the most twistiest openings we've had, right? Like it's going to be insane. So like I said, I can't wait. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm already like getting excited. So as much as you guys, I'm, I'm excited to go see the movie. Uh, Anika, Anika, I haven't really talked about her too much. I don't really know who she is yet. Um, I've been trying to read up a little bit about, I'm going to have to read up more about her. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments, right? Who is Anika? You know, she, Anika, she, you know, a friend of Sam and Tara. I don't know. Maybe someone can talk to me who that is. You know, I probably should know this by now by doing so much research on this. But I think that it's going to be Laura. I think it's going to be Danny. And I think it could either be Quinn or Detective Bailey. But the thing is, though, I think Detective Bailey and Kirby are working together. So I don't know if it could actually be Detective Bailey. So maybe not. Um, Ethan looks pretty suspicious, right? They always make the killers wear the blue plaid shirts. You know, in every screen movie, the killer's wearing a blue plaid shirt. Watch out for that. But if you notice in the trailer, Ethan's wearing it like right here, right? He's wearing a blue shirt. So maybe that's just a throw off. You know, everybody's like, oh, he's wearing a blue shirt. I don't think they're going to give you this, the killer reveals this time around, right? I think it's going to be different. So, but yeah, anyways, guys, this is my prediction. So I think it's going to be Laura. I think it's going to be Danny. And I think it either could be Jason as a red herring, but he could also be end up being a killer. Maybe Kirby if they want to go crazy and really throw that out there, but probably not Kirby though, right? I don't think they would bring her back just to make her a killer. So. But anyways, guys, I can't wait for March 10th. Just like you guys, it's going to be a lot of fun to go watch the movie. Um, that's the whole fun about Scream, right? Who's behind the mask? <laughs> but anyways, guys, if you like this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.